Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jav here. Um, so I was sitting here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go on to why I haven't been making videos lately. I'll touch on that in another video. But I'm sitting here. And I'm about to type on my iPad. I'm about to take notes because I'm studying. I'm about to, you know, I'm about to get into further studying. Um, so I'm about to take notes. And I receive uh, this pop-up notification from the, I think it's what, the Philadelphia Inquirer or something like that? It's the, no, Philadelphia Action News app. Philadelphia Action News app, uh, Channel 6, WPEVITV, whatever it's called. Um, I receive a notification, <laughs> and it said that Steve Jobs has died. It said Steve Jobs dies at age 56. And when I heard this, I, I, I mean, I heard previous um, rumors of Steve Jobs dying and he's dead and he did something happened here. And so immediately I went to Wikipedia and I checked it and I was like, why don't I go to Wikipedia first? So I went to Apple.com. And let me just show you right here. I went to Apple.com. And this is what I saw. As it loads up. Now, I did not know, you know Steve Jobs personally or anything like that. I never talked to him. Um, I never emailed him. A lot of a lot of his a lot of customers emailed him um, some of their problems. Uh, I think one of I one of them I can remember one guy emailing Steve Jobs about how he didn't like the new I, iTunes logo, and then Steve Jobs he replied, uh, "I'm sorry to hear that. We here at Apple seem to like it. It was pretty funny." Um, but yeah, I never emailed the guy. I never talked to him. I never, I don't, I don't, I don't know him personally or anything like that. Um, however, I did read a lot on him. I'm pretty sure, you know, millions of others, especially everybody out here watching now, has read a lot on Steve Jobs. It's not hard to gain access to reading about Steve Jobs. Go to Wikipedia. Um, there's books, you can go to Borders, you don't even have to buy it, go to Borders, I'm sorry, not Borders, they're closing down now, but if you've gone to Borders in the past, um, you can go to Barnes & Noble, grab a seat, sit down, read a book, and then leave. Come back the next day, continue reading about Steve Jobs, and about how he's a whiz at PowerPoint, um, giving PowerPoint presentations or keynote presentations, um, about how he's just a really, just a really good, uh, human being. He's a really good human being. Um, and it just, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. I guess it was, there, there would be, other than my family and my really close friends, there would be two people um, that I just really am not looking forward to dying. And this is one of them. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is definitely one of them. Um, he's just a really, really awesome and great visionary um, in my eyes. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a tech geek. Um, I'm not an Apple fanboy, but I'm just a technology fanboy, and I just I, I thrive. I don't, I don't thrive. My life doesn't thrive off of technology, but you know, I, I really I, I'm really into technology. Um, and Steve Jobs has. Ever since he came back to Apple in 97, I think. Yeah, 97. I, 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 I found it hard. I found it very hard to not follow him. Um, and this is just, this, this is a really, I would definitely say this is a very sad day in the tech world. Um, I mean, you can hear it in my voice. I'm not, you know, the, I'm not the happiest about this news. It's not good news at all. Um. You know, it was just yesterday that um, the iPhone 4S was released, or well, not released, but 
um, talked about and shown to the world. And I guess I'll say that uh, it's a good thing that you know Steve Jobs at least got to see the really the uh, the keynote. He at least got to see the keynote um, of the iPhone 4s. This is unbelievable. I mean, I <laughs> I don't know. I just it's it's really unbelievable. I would say, at least for me, this has much this has much more of an impact than the death of Michael Jackson did. I'm comparing the two because I guess uh, I'm comparing the two because of the impact each person has had on individuals' lives. So where Michael Jackson had such a heavy impact, you know, with music in people's lives, Steve Jobs is not just a, a you know, your own, your regular run of the mill Bill Gates billionaire who is a, a geek and he just makes technology or anything like that. But yes, he's a geek, but he's a consumer geek. Many times in his in his uh in his keynotes, he's stressed and overstressed and stressed again. I was not just about the technology, but it's about reaching people. It's about reaching people's hearts um, and not just quad core this and eight core that and 12 core that. Yeah, Apple has a 12 core processing computer, but they don't market that to people. It's on the website. It's on the website for people who need it to buy it. Um but I'm digressing, but you know, he was he was known for his great user innovations. I guess with Steve Jobs comes a new UI. You know. He he actually it's funny because he created both UIs. Or I would say he created the one. You know, he he created the graphical user interface on the on the um the personal computer. Um, and he revolutionized user innovation with the start um, of the iPad, uh, iPod. Start. He started with the first iPod back in 2001. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, two people, Steve Jobs and um, Stephen Hawking. And um, you know, I know none of us are Superman, and none of us are God. We all have to die, but. You know, those two, other than my um, family and close friends, um, and friends also, I just, I just deaths that I really don't look forward to. Really don't look forward to. When I first heard about, uh, when I first heard that Steve Jobs resigned, <sighs> when I was talking to my friend on the phone. I told her. I told him, like, "Oh man, Steve Jobs resigned today. He's, he's not the CEO, CEO anymore." Um, I didn't. I was. I was. You know. I was saddened that he wasn't CEO anymore. But you know, he was still. He was still involved in in uh, in day to day things that happened to Apple. You know, he was the chairman of the board and whatnot. But in the back of my mind, I was like, "Yeah." Uh, his his tenure is is is, is coming close. You know, his tenure is his his tenure is over. Um, as CEO, um, and I'm not really sure how much time in life he has left. Um, because I mean, when you just look at what you know what how he has gone about his sickness in the past, um, you know there was. There was really barely anything that stopped Steve Jobs from being the CEO. There has been so many sicknesses, and he's taken so many leaves of absences. Um, and lo and behold, the next keynote he's there. Next keynote he's there. Next keynote he's there. People are applauding him. He's saying thank you, you know. And he's still sick, but you know this one, this time, you know he really had to step down as. Just the whole CEO, not just the leave of absence, but just the whole CEO. He had to step down from, but 
Yeah, I don't want to make this video a 15-minute video, but I just wanted to um, express my condolences um, and my lamentations um, about Steve Jobs' death. And I want to um, offer my um, sorrows. I want to offer my sorrows. Offer my I want to offer my condolences to Steve Jobs' family. I know he has a sister. Um, and also a wife, um, his sister Mona Simpson, and also his uh, his now widow wife, uh, Lorene Jobs. Um, but yeah, actually, is she still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. But um. I want to offer my condolences to Steve Jobs, his wife, his sister, um, and also his family. Um, this is a huge loss, not only for the technology world and Apple and all these businesses and all this other stuff, but it's a it's a huge loss for his family. He wasn't just the Apple guy. He was also a human being. He was also a human being and a great human being at that. So, um, if you go on the, also, if you go on the Apple website, um, actually, let me do it right here. If you go on the Apple website and, you know, you, you click on that, there's a link, you click here, click on the Apple, and then you click on the Steve Jobs. Click on where it's, it says his name. Um, obviously, this is backwards, but there's this link right here. This link right here. Just click. See, click that, and then you can write your own email. Um, basically, saying I guess you know what you thought about Steve Jobs. Let me read it. Apple has lost a visionary and creative genius in the world. Let me put it up here. So. I'm not just, you know, just looking at my head. Apple has lost a visionary and creative genius, and the world has lost an amazing human being. Those of us who have been fortunate enough to know and work with Steve Jobs have lost a dear friend and an inspiring mentor. I know he's definitely inspired me. Um, and he's been a, a mentor that I do not know, but a mentor nonetheless. Um, and Steve Jobs leaves behind a company that only he could have built. And his spirit will forever be with the foundation of Apple. If you would like to share your thoughts, memories, and condolences, please email rememberingsteve at apple.com. So I know that I will definitely be um, sharing my condolences um, and my experiences with Steve Jobs and like I said, um, even though I didn't personally know him, he's definitely had an impact on me, um, on information, technology. Um, I definitely said I wasn't going to make this a 15-minute video, but I guess you can understand why, um, you know, it, it is that way. And I'm pretty sure, you know, other YouTubers and bloggers, um, just some off the top of my head, like Soldier Knows Best, uh, uh, John for Lakers, and Wilson Tech One. Um, I'm pretty sure they're also going to be making videos like this. Um, so go check out their channels um, and see what they have to say. But more importantly, I, I look forward to reading your comments below about what you have to say. Um, and if this have has an effect on you and what effect it has on you because I know this definitely affects me um, as well as the family of Steve Jobs and the technology world um, all over. So yeah, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll look forward to reading them. Um, so read, comment, subscribe, and pray for the family of Steve Jobs. Bye, YouTube.
It's your boy Jav. Peace.